A Brief History of Hypnosis Hypnotism as a tool for health seems to have originated with the Hindus of ancient India, who often took their sick to be cured by hypnotic suggestion. This is also the case in ancient Egypt and Greece. Hypnotic-like inductions were used to place the individual into a sleep-like state, although it is now accepted that hypnosis is different from sleep. Avicenna, who lived between the years of 980 and 1037, was a Persian psychologist and physician who was the first to make the distinction between sleep and hypnosis. Hypnotism evolved out of a sometimes skeptical reaction to the much earlier work of magnetists and mesmerists. Paracelsus, who lived between the years of 1493 and 1541, was a Swiss physician who was the first to use magnets in his work. Many people claimed to be healed after he simply waved magnets over their bodies. Valentine Greatrix, 1628-1666, was known as the Great Irish Stroker for his ability to heal people with the laying of hands and passing magnets over them. Johann Joseph Gassner, 1721-1779, was a Catholic priest who believed disease was caused by evil spirits and could be healed through incantations and prayers. A Viennese Jesuit named Maximilian Hell, 1720-1792, used magnets to heal by applying steel plates to the human body. One of his students was a younger medical doctor from Vienna named Franz Anton Mesmer. Western scientists first became involved in hypnosis around 1770 when Dr. Franz Mesmer, a physician from Austria, started investigating an effect he called animal magnetism or mesmerism. This word mesmerism is still very popular today. Mesmer developed his own theory and inspired himself around the writings of English physician Richard Mead. Mesmer found that after opening a patient's vein and letting the patient bleed for a while, by simply passing magnets over the wound, it would make the bleeding stop. Mesmer also discovered that simply using a wooden stick instead of magnets would also make the bleeding stop. Many years later, a man by the name of James Braid, who was a Scottish surgeon, saw a demonstration on animal magnetism and mesmerism being given by a man named Charles Lafontaine. Braid examined the physical condition of Lafontaine's magnetized subjects, especially their eyes and their eyelids, and he concluded that they were indeed in quite a different state. James Braid would go on to become the most important and influential pioneer of hypnotism and hypnotherapy. He is regarded by many as the first genuine hypnotherapist and the father of modern-day hypnotism. Braid believed that hypnotic suggestion was a valuable remedy. In the 19th century, hypnotism became mainstream, being accepted by the American Medical Association in 1958 and the British Medical Association in 1955. Modern fathers of hypnosis include James Braid, Orban McGill, and David Elman.